Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the last video, the conclusion of my series on Adobe Acrobat Pro DC tools. And today we're going to be looking at the JavaScript tool. So let's get into it. So we have some options up at the very top. So we have, let's start with our debugger. So for those of you not familiar with JavaScript, it is a scripting language derived from Java, of which I am more familiar with Java than JavaScript. I am not the foremost authority on JavaScript. There are many other YouTube videos that like it, like this one, that can tell you how to do JavaScript much better than I could, but I have something of an understanding. So here we are on the debugger. So for those of you that don't really, that are not technical, that are not familiar with coding, this is the console. So this is this is kind of what you would think of in the sense of like old school, like 1980s, 90s kind of programming, as when you type in stuff and you get like an output. This isn't really like creating a program as we would think of it today. So the console allows us to run individual JavaScripts within this document. And I have a few of them saved. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how to integrate JavaScripts themselves, JavaScript files within Acrobat and running them separately, but I, but I do know how to add in some existing scripts, which I just keep in Notepad, and then copy them into the console. So, so I have a few scripts like here that I'd like to show off. So this first one, add a beat button to each open document. So we can just look at the code. So basically, in every active document, we're going to add a red button that rings when we click it. So, for, so this is just this is just code, and like the little double slashes are comments, which you know help help tell help show off what this program is meant to do. So it's pretty simple. Basically, for each document that's active, you're going to make a button that will beep when clicked, and then we're going to make the button red. Fill color equals red. So we put all that into the console down here, and then we select all of it, and we hit Control Enter. And so this, there's a bit of output with this. Now let's take a look at our documents. And as we can see, we have a red button here and a red button here. That goes. It's not making any noise. Strange. Anyway, anyway, this is an example of what JavaScript can do. I have a couple other examples that I'd like to show off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so back into the debugger. So I'm going to type in a different script now. So Control-V. Basically, we've pasted in our code, and this code is going to output the mouse's coordinates to the console relative to the bottom left corner of the VF every 100 milliseconds. So 10 times a second for five seconds, it's going to print out the mouse coordinates so where our mouse is within the document. So we're going to do Control A, Control Enter, and now as you can see, it's printing the mouse coordinates relative to the bottom left corner in pixels. So that's just another handy thing you can do with JavaScript. JavaScript's a lot of fun to play around with, in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how you can run some individual scripts within the document. Uh, additionally, if you want to save your scripts to this document so you can use them later, you can give them names. Mm -hmm. There we go. So yeah, we can save our little script like this if we want to access it later. And additionally, you can access all the, all the scripts in this format here under all JavaScripts. And finally, document actions. So when a document performs a certain action, so when you close it, when you save it, or print the document, you have the option of executing either a JavaScript or just like a simple action. So when the document did save, for example, oh, so like when the document does save, you can edit it and then paste in your JavaScript and then it would run the JavaScript once you saved it. You can do the same for when you close it or when you print as well. 
but yeah, that's just a deep, a, not a deep dive, not at all a deep dive. That's a pretty brief dive into the JavaScript tool. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is for that, folks. Thanks for tuning in to my tutorials into Adobe Acrobat Pro. There are some things that I am not the foremost authority on, but this is just meant to give you a basic understanding of everything that Acrobat can do. And I sure hope I did my job well enough that you now are something of a little Acrobat expert now. <laughs> but thanks for watching all my videos, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dave Wilmer signing off.